Just wanted to give a quick uh, little announcement in light of this wonderful current situation that we all seem to be in. Um, Green Mountain Gold Trap is far from shut down, um, nor am I going to stop going to the rivers providing they don't impose some martial law upon us. I get it that some of you are in spots where parks are closed down, such as, such as in California. I'm getting that, that news from uh, certain viewers of the channel. Um, but if you're in areas where you can get out, look, gold is like, it's over $1,600 an ounce right now. Um, and in times like these, gold tends to go up. It's kind of fluctuating, but it's hovering right around, well, above $1,600 an ounce. Now is a good time to get out, folks. I mean, general population isn't exactly a good idea today. So that's why I get the heck out of here. Uh, but I wanted to give you... Uh, the precautions that I'm taking here at Green Mountain Gold Trap, any and all materials that come here by way of delivery, they sit out. I bring them in, they sit out like in cardboard boxes. They will sit out there for two days before I even think about touching them and bringing them in. Um, and then of course the product itself, say if it's uh, acrylic or um, whatever I'm ordering, gets wiped down when I'm putting these things together, of course, I'm keeping my hands clean, folks. I'm not taking any chances. I don't want to pass anything off to you guys. I don't want anything coming into this household. We have um, two members of the household that have, you know, health situations that make them more susceptible to this. I'm not letting it in. We're not letting anybody come to our home. We don't let people come and visit. You want to come? You go out in the driveway, we'll come to you and social distance, which I hate that social distancing. I just, it, it just doesn't set well with me. I get it. This is a bad situation. We need to take precautions and we're taking every precaution we can here. Um, so I can tell you whenever these get built, whenever they get put in a box, they get shipped out. They're getting shipped out clean. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys that update and uh, let you know that, hey, now's a good time to get out in the middle of nowhere and don't let this stop you. Gold's up, and it's probably going to continue to go up. So now's a good time to get out if you can. So with that said, let's go to the river and get some gold, shall we? I'm going to keep working for right now, but next clip, we're going to be at the river enjoying ourselves getting some gold. Take care, everybody. made it so many of you recognize this spot it's my first time back here this season and I'm gonna work this bedrock up here on the higher shelf and see what we can come up with and to add to what I said in the beginning of the video I had to drop off a 23 inch pay streak finder to ship it out today to a guy named Steve in North Carolina and I don't leave home without that so that just uh, just goes to show you I'm not taking any chances all right gotta get busy I want to find some gold enough of that depressing stuff back in a bit yeah they got it prepped a little bit more these pieces are breaking up easy so I'll get to this in a second here but one thing I want to point out is I mean this this has been worked down over the years. So who knows how high up the river was at one time. So that's why I'm finding good gold up high. And that's why I've chosen this spot. Because you can see, this is a nice inside bend right here. So we shall see in this, I'd imagine came from up there somewhere, falling down over the years and ended up here but we got a pretty decent pretty decent amount of material I can probably work in here I don't want to get too crazy up in there because <laughs> I don't want that dropping down on me but we'll see we shall see I'm gonna get to it
see what I can get out of just this little bit of material. Now it looks like we got a pan in tight quarters. But first things first, like the last video, the importance of cleaning off rocks. Could have brought my brush down with me. But I didn't. I'm not just going to toss this because who knows what's in the bottom of it. Not that I've found a nugget yet, but I certainly don't want to go throwing my first one away. And I still haven't found a nugget yet. Again, I want to get this dirty water off here. See a lot of heavy. And that. Okay, there is gold. We've got two small pieces up here. One's about a 50 plus, the other one's probably about uh, 50 minus, close to 100. All right, so I abandoned up there for now, and I never did check over there. It's getting kind of chilly. There's quite the breeze coming down through here. The sun is just barely coming to the point where it's shining on me. Um, so I came down, I came down and did a little bit down through here. I had somebody I consider a friend who I have not met yet, Eric, you know who you are, you live nearby, who was just here, I think yesterday, and he asked me if I ever come here. And I responded to his question and I kind of fibbed, but, and I will be deleting that comment because we don't need people really, you know, like, start rushing on the place. You can find chunkier stuff down here. That's just in two pans. And I don't know how well you can see it because I've got a glare on the uh, camera so I can't tell if it's focused right now or what. But there's, let's see. over 30 pieces in there and there's some pretty good chunky bits but the better stuff is much further down and you got to do some uh, some wet hiking <laughs> but once the water level goes down it's not too bad but anyway I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hike out of here bring some of my stuff back to the house. I've got the car and I don't have a gold trap with me. So I'm gonna travel back to the house, dump off what I don't need, grab a gold trap, switch to the van and go and do some, uh, some work in the trench, move some material, get some gold. So we'll catch you when I get there. Back to you in a bit. Made it back at the trench, switched vehicles, went home, answered some emails, responded to a few people, Dave or David, one of them, and now I'm back at this spot where the trench was, and I've dug it down already a bit, back to about there, so I'm going to keep digging down, 
run the material, see what we get. Back to you in a bit. I've been digging for about maybe 15 minutes. Got some really good action going on in the trap. Good fluidization. That gold's not going anywhere. I don't see anything. Once I block off waterfall, I'm gonna do a clean out here in a second. One of the other benefits about having one of these, we'll go, we'll go through that in a second here. But for those of you who watched the last video, you knew that I dug further out this way, but there's a boulder right there. So I've just been digging right around that boulder and I pulled out, where's the other one? There's one piece of hematite, good heavy material. And where did the other one go? Right here. Two nice big hunks of hematite right around that rock and I'm seeing some really coarse black sand so I've dug all around this side had to move a bunch of these rocks over and out of the way but I'm gonna do a clean out and see if I'm on the gold that's that's the good thing about having one of these you don't have to move it you don't have to take it apart you don't have to do anything except for remove the capture tray so I'm gonna do that right now back in a second here gold on there. Nice. Very little material to deal with. Simple 
was that? Alright, so that's 19 or 20 pieces. In 15 minutes or so. I can't tell if that's focusing or not. Come on. This camera's got a mind of its own. Zoom back out. There you go. Some of them are really tiny. Got a couple up here that are just micro dots. So, as you can see, it doesn't flat board it out, buddy. <laughs> it actually does work. But, I don't criticize you for saying that because if I didn't know about fluid beds, I'd probably say the same thing. But your setup is really awesome too. I've seen them work. So. going to keep that. It's going to keep the gold. Seriously coarse black sand. Again, I'm not worried about losing the gold as I'm panning because I'm going to be back here digging more anyway.
getting old. See it up there? <laughs> I'll give you a better look in a sec here. I had one chunky piece that kept trying to roll down on me. All right, I'll, I'll get you in a second here. All right. So this is just from this clean out. See that, that one piece right in front of the stone. That's the chunky one that kept trying to roll down on me. All right, now I'll dump what's in my snuffer bottle from the other place that I was at plus the test pans I was doing in between while digging because that's what I always do and I got a fairly decent amount doing that too so I'll dump the rest in here and set here all right that's all the gold for today not too bad Not too bad at all. I'm happy with it. All right. So that concludes today's two different places trip. So I thank you all, as always. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Helps my channel. I try to answer every single comment. Of course, quite often I don't get notifications for everyone. I have to find them in my creator studio, studio under comments, but I'll find you. So I'll catch you all later, everybody. I will be back out tomorrow to dig this down even further. Catch you later.